The youngest MP in the history of the Fifth Republic, at 22 she became a member of Parliament for Varcluse's third constituency. From an infamous family, the bastion of the French radical right, Marion Maréchal Le Pen was perhaps destined for politics. After abandoning her academic career in 2012, she has dedicated her life to the party of her grandfather, Jean-Marie Le Pen, and the party to which her aunts, Marine, has dedicated tireless hours to in a process of modernization. At just the age of two years old, Marion made her first political appearance in a campaign poster embraced by her grandfather, Jean-Marie. That said, Marion claims the family rarely discussed politics and in truth, she didn't become a card-carrying member of the party until the age of 18. At the age of 16, she even attended a meeting held by Sarkozy, although this curiosity didn't last particularly long. Prior to then, Marion had a difficult time at school. Not so surprising, it hardly sounds joyous being cast in the shadow of perhaps one of the most reviled men in France about the time. As a result, throughout her younger years, Marion didn't go by her surname, Le Pen, but instead Maréchal, that of her father, and was whisked off to a private and secluded Catholic school. In 2010, she made her first bid for public office and competed in the regional elections. Things didn't exactly go to plan and her inexperience showed greatly. In one notorious video, when asked questions about her campaign, Marion famously cracked, unable to answer, and left the interview. A bit embarrassing, of course, but remember, she was only 20 years old and fortunes shifted quickly. In 2012, when Marion competed for Varcluse's third constituency. Honestly, it seems that Marion didn't especially want to compete again, but did so on the firm recommendation of her grandfather. She did exceedingly well, becoming the youngest MP in modern French history, managing to obtain 49% of the vote. This was the first time the party had won a seat in Parliament in 20 years, with Marion showing particular promise, earning more votes than her aunt Marine, who failed to win a seat of her own. Upon winning, Marion proclaimed herself to be a spokesperson for the French youth, and was a far cry from the usual elderly and male figure the Front National had become known for. Indeed, from a purely cosmetic viewpoint, Marion Le Pen is different, young and attractive. Oftentimes innocent in gait, with hands in her pockets, she often comes across like a learned university student rather than a career politician. In 2015, Marion by all accounts decimated the 72-year-old former Prime Minister Alain Juppé in a national televised debate, something utterly unexpected. Although 2015 wasn't a great year in terms of outright electoral victories for the Front National, the party did manage to sizably increase their vote share, and Marion herself obtained the most votes of any Front National contester. Marion positions herself as a traditional Catholic, which is very much in keeping with the origins of the Front National. The party comes from a lineage of anti-republicanism that later became a home for more hardline Catholic elements. Marine Le Pen has done a lot to alienate this base and in 2012 ardently commented that the Front National would no longer be a platform for the obsessions of ultra-Catholics. This came part and parcel with Marine's efforts to de-demonize the party, which have been met with resistance. Marine has even stated that her support among Catholics will likely be minimal due to her divorces. Marion, although recently a divorcee herself, has positioned herself as more to the Catholic right than Marine. Marine likes to keep quiet on issues of abortion, gay marriage and other social issues. Indeed, Marine's advisor throughout her 2012 presidential campaign, Florian Philippot, was outed as gay in 2014 by magazine Closer and has stated that the party is neither for nor against homosexuality. Marion, on the other hand, has talked on these issues and in 2012 engaged in the mass protests that erupted about the country in response to gay marriage legislation, something Marine had advised against. Further, Marion is the only Front National politician to be welcomed by some segments of the Catholic establishment. In 2015, Bishop Dominique Ray invited Marion to an annual Catholic discussion group, something that had hitherto been unprecedented. This is kind of at odds with how Marine Le Pen has been positioning the party, firmly embedded within the French tradition of secularism. Marine Le Pen has been pushing French secularism to its logical extreme and demanding restriction on any public demonstration of faith. Marion Le Pen, on the contrary, has recently called for the allowing of nativity scenes at town halls in her region. This never passed due to a 1905 law that forbids religious symbolism in public places. Isn't it interesting then that the very law that Marine Le Pen wishes to strengthen is the same law cited to quell Marion Le Pen's proposals? 
Tensions over abortion between Marine and her niece have also erupted recently. Marion calls for the reversal of full and unlimited abortion and said so publicly in a Catholic magazine. This was contrary to party program and put Marine in the awkward position of highlighting that this was not party position and no reversal would be implemented. So the tension continues and highlights a critical struggle for the party as the 2017 election looms. Francois Fillon, the conservative candidate, represents a dramatic shift back to cultural conservatism and Catholic morality. Fillon, highly critical of Islam, ideologically against homosexual marriage, a stalwart against homosexual adoption, an admirer of Russia, and also against abortion, despite vowing to not alter any laws in this area, presents a strategic conundrum for the Front National. The party then has two choices. Under Marine, the party attacks from the left and can easily separate themselves from Fillon by drawing attention to his Thatcherite and maybe heartless economic program when compared to their more socialist leanings. Or follow Marion. Marion is adopting something different and this is kinda trying to out-Catholic Fillon. Although there doesn't appear to be any major ruptures within the Front National at this point, there certainly are tensions. How these develop will strongly influence the prospects of the party as they enter the most crucial year of their existence.